So today we're going to look at uh, um, assembling my Hayes rest. This is an all stainless steel rest. It does have a brass piece here in the captain's wheel, but everything else I believe is all stainless steel. Gary Hayes out in Canada produces these. As a chemist, I hate rust, and uh, he makes a very fine, well-machined product. Um, so I have two of these, actually, one for my daughter, one for myself, so we can shoot together. And uh, just thought I'd show you how this uh, goes together. It comes completely disassembled, a series of legs, a body. You have this piece here that uh, rises up and down to, to raise it. And so I just thought it'd be interesting to, to show you how this all goes together. So let's just put the center piece in. Everything goes in very straight, so let's just go like that. We'll have to match that up with the hole. So let's just get the legs. Obviously, here's the large size. That's going to fit. These are going to go into this top piece, like so. So we just have to make sure that those are upside. So let's just thread these in, and we'll get that lined up. Get a bolt started on it. To the next one. They're actually numbered, so I've cheated a little bit here and put them as they should be set up. So you've got them numbered underneath, so you can make sure you put the pieces in the right spot. So we'll put the. Uh, there we go. Two legs. This doesn't take very long at all. Get this all assembled. Okay, so we got to the boring part of putting the legs in here. And we're just going to tighten these down here the rest of the way. A little one stubborn just a little bit, but it was, uh, just had to, didn't have it a little too deep. So it just wasn't quite threading down in there. All right. Get everything kind of set, set down. Let's just go to quick tightening. All right. Now we have the legs on the body. All right. We'll put the pieces on in a minute. But So we just have to kind of look at this. Here's a hole where right here we got the, the body. And so we're just going to thread this piece comes to the side. Line this up. So we're going to line that up with this other piece. So that actually goes all the way in. This holds the piece down. Just got to thread that in. The other one actually threads into. Look at this. Actually threads into the. Get this out with it up. There we go. And so you can see this. And so you can see what this is going to do is here is the piece that's going to go up and down on the screw that goes through this piece here. And so what we're going to have is we're going to have this in the body, and that's going to slide into this to hold that in place. So that goes in, there's a slot right there, and so that attaches to that slot. And so what we can do is we'll slide these. Are the, here's our bearings, and here's our captain wheel. So we can just screw that down. Okay. So now the captain wheel is on, and then all we have to do is so this is going to go on top and it's actually going to line up we'll put, get the line up set up here so we set this up. We're going to align this. So we've got this as our back plate. This allows us to raise it up and down if we want to spin that. We'll be looking down the two front posts to the front here. The uh, control to let loose 
So we can adjust the captain wheel is here for our left hand. And if we can, we can play with the controls here for fine tuning that. And uh, this is the front stop. We're going to put the uh, rear the front bag on. Let's just go ahead and give this a quick tightening. So we'll just finish tightening that up right there. All right. So we're all set up and good and straight in alignment. So basically, we just got to put in the legs and they just go in very simply. Screw down into this pieces. Screw them in too deep, that way they don't bite into anything. For right now, we need a simple Edgewood bag. There we go. And it just attaches via eight screws. Standard bag, and we're good to go. Got one last piece to put in here. We're going to slide in the, uh, the plates. And these little ears go in here, and they uh, use these to tension the uh, plate here, other bag, just get those, loosen these up so we can slide those in. Give them a little bit of tension so they don't fall out. Well there we have it, we have a uh, Hayes stainless steel front rest. This one has longer front legs, um, basically a little more stability, uh, bigger area, and uh, get a nice bigger, a bigger block uh, to rest everything on. Weighs 32 pounds. We have a uh, uh, front rest. Obviously, can adjust it up and down using these base plates. Have good adjustability with this. It's very smooth. You can get good height. Lock that down. There's a front piece on the this piece on the front. Simply locks down the main body so that it, it can't move. If you loosen this block here, this piece, then the center piece can raise up and down. So very simple. Just go down. I'm going to go up and down. It's very smooth, just like a nicely well precisioned machined front rest. So there you have it. I'll put it on put it on the uh, the gun on it this weekend, and we'll see how the uh, tube gun shoots and uh, have some fun with it.